Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an exciter effect in Reaper. Now, this is something I came up with years ago on an analog console, but it'll work in Reaper the same way. And it's the idea of adding brightness or high end to your tracks in a very controlled way. One of the uses for this is for drums. I have a drum track in front of me here. Let's hear it. It sounds pretty good, but it could be more exciting and a bit brighter. So let's create this Exciter effect. We'll start by making a new track. I'll name it Exciter. Let's give it a color so it stands out, like a red. And now we're gonna bus all these tracks to that track. And we'll do it quickly by selecting them all, hold down Shift, and drag the routing button from any of them to that track. And what that's going to do is it created a send from all the drum tracks to the excited track, as we see here. Now, by default, they're all post fader and full volume, or at zero. For the most part, that'll work for this. So if we change the level of any of these tracks, the excited will change as well. If you want it to be separate, just set these up to be pre fader and create a separate mix for the exciter over here. But I'm gonna leave it at post fader. So now we can close this, and if I play it now, we're gonna hear the drums twice as loud, through here on the individual tracks, and through the exciter track. So let's turn it off on the individual tracks. With them all selected, just go to the routing, hold on Alt on the PC, or Option on the Mac, and just click it, and all these tracks are removed from the master parent set. See, it's turned off. So now we're only gonna hear the drums through this track. But it sounds exactly the same. So now we're gonna treat the excited track. Let's go to our effects, and let's add an EQ. I'm gonna use the Reaper EQ right here, Re-EQ, but any EQ will work. So we'll start off with a high pass filter so we can roll off all the low end. We just want to focus on the top end. Right about there feels good. About two kilohertz. Now we want to boost just the top end that sounds really pretty. We we'll use a high end shelf right here. And let's find where that spot is. Right about there feels good. About seven and a half kilohertz. And because it's a high shoving EQ, it's gonna boost from here all the way up. So now what we wanna do is add a compressor to this so we can compress the top end. So add one here. Now I'm gonna use the Reaper compressor, but once again, you can use any compressor you want. I'm gonna use four to one and a really fast attack and a pretty fast release. We really want to control just the top end. This way it doesn't jump out if the drummer hits the cymbals. So now we have some really controlled top end. So now we'll go back to the excited track, bring the volume down, and let's take these tracks with the most selected. Hold on Alt on the PC, or Option on the Mac, to put them back through the master parent send. See right here, it's turned on. So now we can hear the drums the original way. But now we can blend in the exciter track right here. Let's do that for the mixer. Here's our drum tracks, and here's the exciter. Let's try to blend it in.
That sounds a lot more exciting. Before? Sounds a bit dark. So now it's brighter, but it's more controlled brightness because we compress this track quite a bit. So the top end's very consistent, but it's blending in with the original drums. And we could tweak this to taste using our EQ or the compressor. Let's try the same thing on a vocal track. I have a vocal track right here. Let's see what it sounds like. Cause I'm a man, I'm a child, I'm a horse running wild. Sounds a bit dark. So let's add the exciter to this vocal. Again, okay, we'll make a new track. We'll drag this to this track. Full up post fader. Let's name this exciter. Let's give it a color. Let's take this out of the master parent send. Cause I'm a man. We're only hearing it through here. Let's put the EQ on this track. Again, we'll high pass it. Cause I'm a man. I'm a child. I'm a horse running wild. And then boost it with a high shelf, just on the range where it's really pretty. Cause I'm a man. I'm a child. I'm a horse running wild. Right about there feels good. Now we had a compressor to control it right here. Cause I'm a man, I'm a child, I'm a horse running wild. I'm a ship caught in a storm, surrounded by love, but still alone. I'm the earth, I'm the sun. Right about there feels good. Now bring the fader down on this one and put this one back on the master parent sent. Alt on the PC, option on the Mac. And here's the original. Cause I'm a man, I'm a child. And now it's blended. Cause I'm a man, I'm a child, I'm a horse running wild, I'm a ship. Caught in a storm, surrounded by love, but still alone. Before? Cause I'm a man, I'm a child. Sounds a bit dark, and not so exciting. To bring this back in, it's a controlled top end to make it sound brighter, but not jumping out in the high end. Cause I'm a man, I'm a child, I'm a horse running wild. So this will work on any type of track. Could be acoustic guitar or even a piano, but this is how you create an exciter effect in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.